Are you going to sit in Daddy's seat today? I think you'd be a really good judge. I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's his job? I am Daddy's job now. Has Simon Cowell's son completely transformed his son? Known for his harsh judgments, Simon now smiles more, softened by fatherhood. Sorry, Howard. That's mini Simon. He's a little scary. His son has sparked a dramatic change, turning the famously tough judge into a visibly happier man. Everyone's talking about this unexpected shift in Simon. What's so shocking about his son's transformation that Simon himself felt compelled to speak out? Join us to expose the shocking truth behind the changes that even Simon Cowell couldn't ignore. A new chapter in fatherhood. When Lauren announced her pregnancy, it marked a huge turning point for him. He spoke about how naturally fatherhood came to him and how full of emotion he was. Now, yeah, I mean, I just cannot imagine my life without him. I mean, That's he's so the great. most amazing thing that ever happened to me. That's so great. Yeah. Great dad. His birth was an emotional roller coaster. While he was busy filming Britain's Got Talent in London, he got an urgent call from Lauren in New York. He rushed to her side and made it just in time. Two hours before the baby was born, staying by Lauren's side through it all. You won't believe what key feature of his son Simon got the most surprised by. Naming their son was his way of honoring his late father who passed away in 1999. He always cherished the close bond he had with his dad and wanted to create the same bond with his son. The first days were filled with joy and a lot of laughter. He even joked about how he almost offered Lauren a pacifier to calm her down during the rougher moments. A lighthearted comment that brought smiles and eased the tension during their early days as parents. The baby was a calm baby, needing attention every three hours. And it was Lauren who sometimes felt more unsettled than he did. They laughed their way through those early days of parenting. As soon as the baby arrived, he couldn't wait to share the news on Twitter proudly announcing his son's birth and saying he was healthy and adorable. A close friend shared how much he wanted to have the same strong bond with him that he had with his own parents. Family for him was everything. Many had always seen him as the ultimate bachelor, but fatherhood showed a more loving and committed side of him. When the baby was born in 2014, it gave him a fresh outlook on life. Fast forward to 2021, after reflecting during the pandemic, he proposed to Lauren, realizing just how important family was to him. He told E.T. that nothing mattered more than family. As he planned for the wedding, he also embraced his role as a stepfather to Lauren's older son, Adam Silverman, who was born in 2006 and keeps his life very private, but is still a vital part of this new chapter for the family. In 2018, Adam proudly stood beside him during a big event where he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This was a clear sign of Adam's support for the man who would soon become his stepfather. It's just one example of the strong ties in their family. Though younger, he also shares a deep bond with his stepbrother Adam. Despite their age difference, they have always felt a connection, almost like they were meant to be brothers from the start. Life takes a turn toward family ties insane family ties in Barbados. Their close relationship is easy to see during family vacations to sunny spots like Barbados. There, they could be found on the beach wearing matching swimwear, looking more like best friends than stepbrothers. But it wasn't just during these fancy trips. Their bond showed in everyday moments too. At home, they loved simple things like having picnics in the backyard, biking around the neighborhood, and sharing stories about their day. These small moments only made their bond stronger. Things were especially tight between them when he had a serious injury from an electric bike accident. Both brothers were really worried, and this concern brought them even closer. However, their relationship wasn't always smooth. When he started dating Adam's mom, Lauren, it created some tension especially with Adam's dad, Andrew Silverman. Andrew wasn't happy about him being in his son's life and made it clear in the divorce terms. He had to keep his distance from Adam or face a hefty financial penalty. But this wasn't the toughest part. Over time, he and Adam started to enjoy each other's company a lot more. Now he, Lauren and he split their time between the US and the UK, where he goes to school in Wimbledon. 
It's not clear if Adam lives with them in the UK or stays with his dad in the US, but he often joins family events in the UK, like a fun day out at the Epsom races, where he looks happy and relaxed with his family. Handling this family situation hasn't been easy for him, but he has tried hard to balance his role as a father with his other commitments. The birth of his son was a turning point for him, pushing him to rethink his work-heavy lifestyle. During a heartfelt interview on the show Lorraine, he talked about how becoming a father changed his outlook, making him less worried about things that used to bother him. And importantly, I really felt better. And once I knew I felt better, then it was just easy to stick to. But that's not all. Kelly Clarkson noticed this change, too. On her show, she spoke about how fatherhood had softened him, making him focus more on his family than his work. This shift made him not only a happier person, but also a better father, finding a new balance in life. Yet despite this personal growth, it doesn't seem like he is planning to retire anytime soon. He's still very active in the music world, helping shape the careers of bands like Little Mix and One Direction. In a recent interview with Hello! Magazine, he compared himself to his late father, who worked until he could no longer continue, suggesting that he plans to keep going for now. Shrek 2 and Scooby-Doo. Right now, it's unclear what he'll do next, but one thing is sure, he's not disappearing. He might cut back on work to spend more time with his son, Eric. His impact on him goes beyond just lightening his workload. He also played a key role in helping him quit smoking. In 2022, he shared a touching story with Extra about how his son became a strict watchdog, making sure he didn't sneak a cigarette. Even when he tried to hide and smoke behind the bushes, his son would catch him, making sure he stuck to his promise. This constant watch was effective. He admitted that with his help, he almost managed to quit. By 2023, he proudly told The Mirror that he had completely stopped smoking cigarettes. But he hadn't given up nicotine altogether. He switched to vaping instead, which he thinks is a lesser evil. Changes at home start to show, beyond cosmetics and city life. But quitting smoking wasn't the only thing his son helped with. He also nudged him away from Botox and other cosmetic procedures. In a world where looking perfect is a big deal, always in the public eye, he felt the pressure to keep up a flawless look. However, at 64, he decided to give up Botox and fillers after an interview with The Sun, where he admitted these treatments made him look strange, almost unnatural. Seeing an old photo where he didn't recognize himself and hearing his son laugh at how he looked convinced him it was time to change. He decided to focus more on a natural look, putting health over artificial enhancements. But this wasn't the worst part. Social media lit up with comments about his changed appearance, and he even became a bit of a meme. Looking back, his journey with cosmetic procedures is a memorable chapter in his life. He's been open about his past attempts to stay young, even recalling bizarre treatments like being wrapped in tin foil and cling film, covered in oils for detox, or trying a sheep placenta facial. Now, he is more about feeling young than looking it, with his son still guiding him along the way. And it's not just advice. His son has reignited his passion for life. In a heartfelt chat on the diary of a CEO, he shared how his arrival was a ray of hope during one of his darkest times, after losing his parents. And what I said about the material things I've got, everything just meant nothing at that point. I was, I was desperately unhappy. Um, I wasn't particularly enjoying my work. And I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to become a vampire then. His birth lifted him from deep sadness, giving him new energy and a new purpose. The arrival of his son marked a turning point, helping him cope with the grief of his mother's death in 2015 and bringing back his love for life. He knows that his son saved him just when he needed it the most. Thinking about how being a dad has changed him, he realizes he's come a long way from the person he was 10 years ago. Having his son didn't just bring back his happiness. It also helped him find a better balance between work and home life. His son's active and adventurous personality has pulled him out of his usual routine, pushing him to spend more time outdoors. It was his love for the outdoors that made him decide, in 2023, to move from the busy streets of London 
to the peaceful English countryside. A close source shared in July that he and his family had settled into their new rural home a few months earlier and were enjoying the quiet away from city life. The change from the lively city to a quieter place suited him, who prefers a more private way of living. Living in the countryside has also given him a new perspective on his relationship with his son. In a chat with Access Hollywood, he spoke about how happy he was to see his son adapting so well to their new environment. He mentioned that his son was doing many of the same things he did as a child, climbing trees, playing soccer, and running around outside. The countryside offered endless chances for his son to explore, and he was thrilled to see his son enjoying these outdoor adventures. But this wasn't the most surprising part. Even as he moves through his 60s, his son's boundless energy keeps him active and on his toes. He has talked about how becoming a dad has brought new energy to his life, making it essential to stay fit to keep up with his son. In a 2022 interview with The Sun, he discussed the physical demands of being a parent and the need to stay in shape to join in on soccer games with his son. His new look brings a new outlook. A incredible path to health and vitality. This focus on health led him to switch to a vegan diet in 2019 to boost his energy and well-being. He became even more committed to fitness after a serious setback in 2020 when he injured his back in an accident on an electric bike. Despite the pain and a bit of weight gain during recovery, he was determined to bounce back quickly so he could keep up with his son. He eventually shifted from a strictly vegan diet to a balanced one with lean meats and fresh vegetables, although he still enjoys the occasional treat, like sharing a slice of pizza with his son. But their time together isn't just about playing or staying active. Simon and his son are also working together on a creative project, a book series. Inspired by his father, his son's imaginative nature shone through when they decided to start this venture in 2020. He shared their excitement on Instagram, announcing a seven-part book series called Wish Fits. The series takes young readers into a magical world filled with unique creatures like a dog-cat mix called a dat and a hippo-kangaroo hybrid named a hippo reflecting his son's love for animals and their shared creativity. But this wasn't the only reason for the project. Creating the Wish Fits series has been an exciting journey for both of them, bringing them closer through the creation of these imaginative characters. The idea came from their playful talks about the pets Eric wished he could have, and a friend encouraged them to turn these ideas into a book series. Beyond just telling stories, they also want to support good causes. They plan to donate part of the proceeds from their books to organizations like Shooting Star Children's Hospices and Together for Short Lives, which help children with severe illnesses. But this wasn't the last of the surprises. As he grows into a thoughtful and kind young man, he also gets to enjoy a fun, adventure-filled childhood that many kids can only dream of. In a unique twist, he became the youngest member of the exclusive Soho House, a sign of the special life his father has created for him. But the story behind this membership is quite interesting. During a severe heat wave, the young boy desperately wanted to cool off with a swim. He was tied up with filming and his mom wasn't around, so he decided to get him a Soho House membership as a solution. This story sparks a discussion about his potential future in the spotlight, hinting that he might follow in his father's famous footsteps jump to 2023, and we see him by his side on the red carpet at the 18th season of America's Got Talent. He posed with the season's winner, Adrian Stoa, and his talented border collie, Hurricane. He beamed with pride, especially since he had correctly picked the winner. He shared with Access Hollywood how his spot-on prediction added to the excitement of the night. His love for the show was clear from his early visits to the set, even when he was just a toddler. He had worried that he might not like his job, but to his surprise and delight, he loved the talent series just as much as he did. By April 2024, he posted a photo on Instagram of himself, him, and another young person in the judges' seats, hinting that he might have a future role in judging talent shows. But this wasn't the whole story. He had his own dreams. He wanted to be a contestant first, especially on Britain's Got Talent. He's passionate about rock music, with his favorite band being Green Day. He noticed his growing interest in drumming and recognized his natural talent. 
yet he also admitted that the idea of judging his own son made him nervous. Healthy choices bring new adventures. The private world of a rock star's son. In interviews with E.T. and People, he spoke about his mixed feelings regarding him competing on talent shows. He acknowledged his talent, but was worried about the intense spotlight and pressure of competition. He preferred to support him from a distance rather than from the judges panel, wanting to protect him from potential harsh criticism while still encouraging his dream of becoming a rock star. He believed that his path might go beyond just competing, highlighting the big ambitions he had with a father like him. He loves rock music with a passion that goes beyond just a childhood hobby. He's not only good at playing the drums and has a sharp ear for music, but he's also comfortable in the public eye. Even though his parents, he and Lauren, try to keep things private, he is no stranger to the spotlight. He's been attending public events since he was young, and at the America's Got Talent season 17 finale in September 2012, he seemed perfectly at ease, having gotten used to being around his dad's shows. From early on, he has been a regular at these events, creating special memories for him, who loves seeing his son's reactions to live performances. In September 2023, he told People magazine that his excitement and enjoyment are signs that the show is doing well. These public appearances have made him more visible and have also helped him connect with other celebrity kids, like Bear, the son of Cheryl and Liam Payne, which he talked about in UK's Woman magazine back in April 2012. Growing up in the entertainment world, he seems to handle it all with a natural ease, much like his father. But while they share many moments together, he is determined that he should create his own path without relying on a large inheritance. He believes in this approach, as do many wealthy parents these days, preferring their kids to achieve success on their own. In a 2013 interview with Esquire, he discussed this idea while Lauren was pregnant, emphasizing opportunities and values over just leaving money behind. But that doesn't mean he doesn't like to spoil him now and then. For example, he threw a big dinosaur-themed party for his third birthday at London's fancy Mandarin Oriental Hotel, which cost about $10,000. Then, for his fifth birthday, he had a Greatest Showman-themed party that cost $30,000. These lavish celebrations show his wish to create wonderful memories for his son while balancing his views on money with the happiness of celebrating. When it comes to education, he has strong opinions too. In a 2019 NBC interview, he criticized his own school experience and said he believes in a balanced approach to education, where happiness and health are more important than academic pressure. As he continues on his journey as a father, he has even thought about expanding his family. In an April 2023 interview with The Sun, he mentioned he was considering the idea of having another child. Fatherhood has changed him in many ways, bringing him a joy he didn't expect and giving him a new outlook on family. He can't help but notice how much he is turning into a younger version of himself. But whether the family grows or stays the same, he feels happy and content with his life as it is. This was clear during the Easter 2024 celebration which brought together Lauren's older son, Adam, and his ex, Terry Seymour, along with her family. The gathering was a perfect example of lasting friendships and close family ties, showing that a fulfilling family life isn't always about its size. What are your thoughts on prioritizing happiness over academic achievement in education? Like, comment, and subscribe for more.